sorry. So we start with one after the other randomly. Uh, would you, Chao uh, Baichu, would you like to start? Okay. Um, my name is uh, Chu Xiaobai. I was born, grown up, and got my bachelor, master, and a PhD in Shanghai. <laughs> I got my PhD uh, in anthropology of art with a dissertation, Jesus Christ through centuries in China, which goes, uh, tries to go after the great work of pelicans, Jesus through centuries. And now I'm an, an associate professor in uh, the Faculty of Literature in Shanghai. And as to this essay, I think it was inspired by a picture which was published in a magazine around 1919. And the picture's title is the uh, Jesus Christ, the greatest scientist in history. And the, the picture depicted uh, Jesus holds Bible in his right hand and the other hand, the book of technology. So um, it seems maybe very interesting, but I, I just suggest in my, in my essay that science is a typical loan word to Chinese culture. It was no more than four, 40 years before 1990 that this word was translated into Chinese from Japanese, not from English, from Japanese. So it's uh, quite strange to Chinese people to understand this word. And I argue this uh, in this essay that although this word was translated, but still uh, it was very hard to interpret it. And I mean, they just try to interpret this word purely from the angle of technology. <clears throat> and also this is by coincidence that this side of mechanical and ut utilitarian side of science is just a coin coincides very nicely with another core ideology of a traditional Chinese culture, pragmatism. So um, just uh, referred to science has a passion for the truth, but uh, to Chinese people, it is quite difficult to understand this passion for the truth. To Chinese people, we would think the science is, the truth of science is to win the battles against Western country with or by the, by the Western technology. This is the truth of the science we pursued. So, and it, even more worse, I want to say that actually the dialogue of science and the religion has never happened in China yet. And the third one who can chew the, the discourse is scientism. Scientism, scientism. So I'm so grateful that uh, Professor Welke encouraged me to write this essay and I, also want to say very thank you to my husband. He's also here, Thomas Quandit, and he's not only corrected the gram grammar and made my whole narrative more smoothly, and also he, uh, he, he, he add some lights into this more or less very dark essay. <laughs> 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 well, it was, it was lightful task. enough that you won. <laughs> Thank you very much. He said in the last century, an English Nobel Prize winner answered the question if the believers, if the beliefs, if he believes in God by the telling statement, of course not, I'm a scientist. If a dialogue between science and religion could arise in China, when they are Chinese Nobel Prize winner may give an answer to the opposite. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>